typically progressive design build projects are those that have the highest risks, that uh, have most opportunities for innovation, collaboration, not just with the owner, but also with the community, and it's a great way to deliver a project. This project had some huge challenges. It's kind of in an environmentally sensitive area. There was a lot of challenges to just how it was going to be built. The right thing to do was go PDB. Progressive Design Build is an alternative delivery process that we used to help advance a nearly half billion dollar project in a shorter amount of time while improving safety and widening the highway. We looked at all of the different challenges and risks associated with the project and we thought that using a progressive design build model limited the department's exposure of putting a contract out and gave us the ability to work through a lot of these challenges in a collaborative manner. You can work together on innovations, even doing things that the owner's never done before, but because of that relationship, they're willing to try. It's really a, a great way to collaborate closely and in a an atmosphere of trust with the owner. And we've really, as an owner, we've really appreciated that opportunity on this project. Progressive Design Build is a collaborative construction method for delivering challenging projects. Because it brings the designer, builder, and owner together in design to identify problems early, resolve them during design, so that makes the construction project go a lot smoother. One of the best advantages of using a progressive design build delivery method is it gives you a way to approach the project that can be centered on the goals of the project itself. You're collaborating as a team to achieve a certain goal, be it whatever goal it is. And what we found in PDB that you come in and during the advertising process they have five key goals typically. And what happens is these goals morph into project specific goals once we get into it. The builder is brought on earlier in the process, so they're part of developing the goals. In a typical design build format, we see low bid. Sometimes communication makes a circle to get through the whole organization. In progressive design build, it's really a straight line of the owner hires a design builder and we work together to have our common goals met it gives us a lot more open dialogue between the contractor and the owner to figure out what the real critical issues are and how we can appropriately address them. We have a lot of time to have those conversations where if you're in a more traditional delivery method, you might have a limited window on when you can talk to the contractor and you have to be very cautious about what information that you give them to make sure that there isn't an unfair competitive advantage. With PDB and having the contractor on board, you can have those open honest conversations right from the start. I think that allows a little bit more free flow of information and ideas. When you have a project with so many risks and, and also so many opportunities, you want to make sure that you get a team that's been there and done that. Qualifications-based selection gives you a higher likelihood that you'll be able to find a team that will achieve those goals. PDB delivery method, it actually allows us to shorten the procurement schedule compared to a traditional design build. We went out with a qualification-based selection and we're able to get our RFP out on the street and have a selection for a contractor within six weeks. PDB allows a forum where we can actually maximize innovation on a project. Ideas aren't thrown out just because they haven't been done before. With that trust and collaboration that's built, now we can build off of that and say, this innovation fits this project specifically, we should try that. So some of the key factors as you get into the risk management is, you know, getting together as a team, identifying the risks, and each party has a different idea of what a risk is and why it's a risk. Hey, this risk is how do we get this delivered on time or how do we make it work so that at the end of the day it meets the safety standards that we're looking for at the, on the project. Being able to have the contractor there with us when we're engaging stakeholders along the corridor and having him talk to their construction approach or talk to design details, knowing that that's what the final design is going to be, it provides credibility to the project team and to the department as a whole because they're getting what they're being told they're going to get. Because the team was vested early, everyone from foreman 
guys in the field, office team, everyone understood that public acceptance of the project was really important. Because that was built into the way we thought about the project, it became part of the culture of the team. Really important to have collaborative processes in place, be able to work together to build trust, not only internal to the team between the owner and the builder, but with the public as well. It's all about the community. The community is very concerned about what happened out here on this, on this highway, you know, their neighborhood, so to speak, and they wanted to make sure that it was done in a way that reflected their values, that minimized impacts, it was done in a manner that was safe. There were a lot of challenges, a lot of risks that we needed to address, that we, we knew that progressive design build would be a great tool to be able to do that.